All right, episode three commentary. You know the Easter Bridge. I think we're getting close. Get ready for it. This is uh, an episode that was written by me. I just wrote this one by myself for some reason. It's the this, only one. This episode is the only one I'm not involved with. <laughs> but you were involved. Well, like, written-wise. Yeah, I mean, I, I wrote the script in, like, one day. I just decided to, like, get it started, and then I just got an idea, and I just went with it. It's really good for one day, too. Yeah, uh, this is one of my favorite episodes. I mean, there's some still some problems with it, but overall, I like it a lot. Oh, I like right. how. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, I like how like he has memory loss and he knows exact key for this door. Yeah, that's weird. Like he just realized he had the. Key. He's like surprised that he even has the keys. Like that in that scene, he's like, "Oh, oh, keys! I have these." And he's like, "I immediately know which one." You know, there's like a ton of them. Uh, yeah, there was. Uh, a lot cut from that beginning scene where like he opens it up and it's like it's all creepy inside and then like the yeah. dog pops up. We cut like every scene in this show that has that stupid dog that we could get away with cutting. Thanks for the help, guys. Just because like how do you make a dog funny? I'm on a boat. I like Sanders' appearance here. So Sanders the pimp and uh, uh fantastic cameo. As like a like auto captain guy back in the day, it said "I want to blow" instead of "I want a boat." Yeah, where it would do like the automatic captions. It, it said "I want, I want to blow." <laughs> what kind of person lives in a shopping mall? Which is stupid. Shopping mall would be cool to yeah, live that, in. That's bullshit because living in a shopping mall is like pretty much the best thing you could ever live in. Wow, I, I can't believe you actually live in a place like this. This episode's this. many this like a first. Song? Like, there's a bunch of first in this. A bunch of like. Running yeah. jokes in this episode. Well, a lot of things that kind of like established our uh, style for later episodes. What? Like this joke where uh, huh? Takizawa constantly is reminded okay, of things in his past from like no, that picture no. where like he thinks he's gay. No that was in episode one also. But, like, this is where we kind of decided to have him do that every now and then. Yeah, this is where it's like officially established that I feel. Yeah. Just looking back, like, man, those members are still there. <laughs> All right, well, this is where uh, Kondo goes in here, and like he walks up to the pile of cell phones, and he's like, "Uh, yeah, like right This is where Al gets rid of those things. That's just a reference to uh, Death Note Bridge by Team Dr. Bio, where like L is constantly taking everyone's cell phones and just getting rid of them. That was like our favorite bridge back yeah, then. We were, we were big fans of theirs. We just made that reference, kind of. And there's that dog we cut off of. Yeah, see, you'll see the dog randomly at times because, like, he's in a lot of parts, but we don't really show the parts that really focus on him. Pick up, darn it. Oh, and here's the introduction of all these characters. It's Osugi, Asian Manifesto, or Exile. Uh, right? Yeah. Hey guys, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to call. I'm in an abandoned you also got Michan, who is uh, Nana, or uh, somebody we know, Nana. From uh, these early episodes, I think up until episode six. Yeah. And Kenshin X is on a. I'm obviously Hirasawa. And I know that's One's only thing was the gasp in there, but she's like my favorite character. <laughs> yeah, One is my favorite character from <laughs> from this. It's like, Whoa. And I know we're, you were saying, like, oh, man, this is the only part like, you needed help with. Like, what can I put in this movie yeah, theater? I wanted to have something cool in this movie <laughs> theater. I didn't know what to put. And, yeah, this guy you suggested uh, Blood Ocean, which is perfect, really. And this looks like it was really hard to edit, right? Yeah, the, all the, uh, like, right there, you see, like, the railings and stuff. It's all cut out, and I had to, like, keep changing the angle of the... Uh, what a, you know, it took a long time to edit that, even though it's only on screen for like five seconds total. It took me forever. Yeah. It looks, it looks pretty good, though. And this scene is just basically a condo, uh, continuation of where, like, Takizawa thinks Kondo wants to know more about the phone. Yeah, he just <laughs> doesn't understand, because, like, Kondo knows about kind of the, uh, All right, then. the game involved with this show, Thank and they're competing, but Takizawa doesn't have any memories, so he when I said they can just thinks it's some guy who thinks the phones are awesome. <laughs> it, like, it's something, like, sinister, like, sensual, too, like the phones could do. Yeah, it's like, man, we could do some, some crazy wild shit with this. <laughs> oh, good old fight sound effects that I've used in basically every video. <laughs> 
<laughs> You'll hear those those smack sounds a lot. <laughs> They're really good, though. They're, They're good. free and good. That's why we use them. What the this hell line here actually, like, cool. did hurt myself. Like, I punched myself in the stomach to feel paid. Pretty much any time like, Takizawa hurt and saying something, he punched himself. <laughs> yeah, I... I do it. Early. I told him not to. I do it for but, like perfection, yeah, or like <laughs> for realism that I feel. Like. You, gotta, you gotta fake it, man. You gotta learn to fake it. No, man, you it know, works. You're gonna have like a busted kidney one day and be like, "Well, I had to do that." I'm not punching that hard. Just walk out the door. And of course, this is from this from the anime Macross Seven. With Basara. I still don't know. No one's pointed it out still. You know. Yeah, every time Takizawa gets on his bike, it's always like a different song by that band. Fire Bomber. Fire Rules. Bomber. Hmm? The look the same. And then this part is like a, a tiny bit of explanation about the rules of the game. Involving phones here. Yeah, it's kind of explaining what Kondo was trying to do. That he was trying to steal Takizawa's phone to use his money because Kano's money had all run out and he wanted more so he didn't lose. But you can't steal the other guy's phone and just take his money. It doesn't work yeah. way. So he's all pissed because his plan's completely boned. It's kind of interesting because the anime's still kind of going on during this and we're like, as we go on for different episodes... Like, we create this unique story or something. Yeah, I think when this that, episode uh, came out, the anime was not done running. It was only, like, maybe halfway bitch. through. Oh, it's just you. Like, oh, it was so still real new. Back, we, we hadn't really, like, seen all the episodes yet, because they weren't out. So we were having to kind of figure out this crazy, complicated story as we went along. You know, like, before, the, like, a little bit back from here at this point, when the phone was going off, was it, like, uh, Living Room Dinettes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Free market. That's like what we were listening to during that time, right? Yeah, oh, I just well, I remember it's one of my characters, and the phone rings. Look, everybody has like different ringtones all the time. That's kind of a thing we do in this show. I just put songs that I like, and I like that song. Don't for some reason you make Kanye a pedophile. Free market Montgomery. No, really, it's not. You make Kanye a pedophile. I didn't ever say they were kids. I said. My mother warned they, they were they were guys. <laughs> you were like their clothes fell out. It's yeah, not like dude. We were just wrestling when they, and our their clothes fell off. And I like how he gets stabbed <laughs> and he's laying there and no one comes up. Yeah, he's just, a cop is just laying there like it's half it's dead. It's Are you alright? No one helps him. Nobody even that. looks. Whoa. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, it's it's fucked up. Hey, you just cover that back up. <laughs> I'll be taking this back. The first thing is to think of just like stealing his phone. It's like I'll be taking yeah, this. <laughs> I'm getting my shit. Yeah, and the, what we wrote here was basically he takes his phone back. Takizawa takes his phone back. But if you look closely, it's actually Kondo's phone that he takes. Yeah, he ends up with both. Yeah. But we, like, we switched it. We never noticed it until like afterwards. They were like, oh well, whatever, it works. <laughs> yeah, the guy just runs past. I like all those CG people too. They really went. All out on the animation. <laughs> you must go, number nine. Find the other Celisau. This is just this kind of attempting. This is our attempt at this point to try to explain what the hell's going on in this show. Because, like, we hadn't really got into that yet. We get into it again in episode four. Yeah, my favorite part's coming up right now. <laughs> oh, no, yes. All right. The great. I think everybody just stops and they're just, like, looking at other stuff. No one gives a crap. <laughs> At all. You're dead. You know what gives a crap. It's the only character in this show that dies. Like, that actually dies. And never ever comes back. Kind of spoilers in case you have seen <laughs> all of it. But. You, should. you should watch our show today. Yeah. yeah, or watch the movies or whatever. I mean. Yeah, this song is from like a Sonic song. I don't know. Yeah, this is from, uh, I think, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 or something. Some, some Sonic the Hedgehog ending credit song. In English. There's a Japanese version, yeah. too. And then, like, a cloud video that Mando's found on yeah, the internet. Just, just some clouds. And then we Googled this. <laughs> and we were like, oh, that's pe perfect for his, like, death picture. Oh. Well, that was episode three. Yeah, that was episode three. We'll See you guys later.